Hi Scorpio, this is your reading for the 4th of uh, May till the 10th of May and I'm using the crystal ball and I'm using the power healing angel oracle deck and the archangel Michael and the angel feather deck and also the un the wild the wild unknown tarot and I'll be starting off with the crystal ball I've cleaned it before I start uh, before I every reading and I leave it sit there for a while and um, to energize up again or rejuvenate and if you're new welcome to the channel and I hope you will subscribe and hit the bell then you'll be notified when I go live or when new videos are uploaded and welcome back to my cyber angels and thank you for your loyalty and your shares likes and everything else that you do to make this channel what it is without me and you and the cards it, it is not as wonderful as it is thank you and if you would like to become a cyber angel new viewer then please join us in the live as I go live on Monday Wednesday and Friday and sometimes I just go spontaneously live and there's also a website that you can follow by clicking on this white dot and there you can find reviews interviews more news <laughs> and also which uh, readings I offer or are on offer I when I go live I give out free cards and uh, there's also a possibility of asking a question and I'll answer that after a donation and this can be done by a super chat or a super sticker so let's get started with your reading Scorpio okay Ooh, I'm seeing a star here and I'm going to note this down I note everything down that I see so that I can see whether it relates with the cards Scorpio you've got the star okay and I also see a wall um, a wall are you closing yourself in uh, that could mean the wall perhaps you have built a wall and isolating yourself nobody can get to you you've closed your heart off or your solar plex or both are you not enjoying your life at the moment are you depressed perhaps mm, has somebody hurt you so that's why you're protecting yourself by building a wall around you Ooh. I also see a ship you might be going on a ship or you might be sailing or you might be cruising a ship a ship can also mean your ship is coming in your abundance is coming in I'm seeing it very far away in the crystal ball though so it's coming towards you you can see it coming in you can see something coming in but perhaps you are planning a trip for in the autumn I also see dominoes I don't know what that means dominoes dominoes let's have a look dominoes what does dominoes mean for you I would love to know if you've got, if dominoes make any sense to you I see a domino three with a line six six on one side three on the other and I see four and five so I don't know whether those dominoes mean anything three and six four and five okay I think um, that is enough to start off with and I'll put the crystal ball back but you have lots going on that's for sure All right now I'm going to take the tarot deck and I'm going to shake it on on video live then you can see that I'm not adjusting or sorting out the cards so that they relate to the crystal ball and I will shake them three times sorry about that Scorpio that's the shaking where I left off because I'm editing at the same time and that was Libras 
video that was being edited and then you've got the music at the end okay um you have the hanged man okay the hanged man okay taking time out there might be a delay in something as uh, also meditative state spiritual state uh, there might be a delay for four hours four days four weeks or four months that was uh, one card and then the next card is the chariot he hasn't come out yet in this week's reading okay you've got the chariot you've got public recognition you might be going on holiday moving home you are a champion you've got victory wow you're going onwards and upwards now i'm taking the next card and he's come out before that's the father of wands the father of wands and i'm taking one again and you've got the nine of wands an ending diff of difficulties you've been through the walls ah, but you're taking a rest now okay and you've got the seven of swords the seven of swords and it's a fox so let's start with the card um, the first card and that's the hanged man like I said there might be a, a delay there might be a delay you might just want a, a different perspective on something because that's what the hanged man also means so it means trying to get a different perspective you're taking your time out to meditate or contemplate and evaluate to get this different uh, uh, perspective okay so you have the chariot and the chariot means that you're going onwards upwards you've got the you're the champion you've got victory you've got public recognition you might be moving home or going on holiday I know it might be difficult now in lockdown but you might be planning to go on holiday but you definitely could be getting a promotion then on Friday we have the father of wands that's the king of wands he's been coming out quite a bit this week so you might be meeting up with a fire sign this the fa the the father of wands though the king of wands is an aries so you might be getting connected with an aries or meeting a connect uh, meeting up with an aries but don't forget the sagittarius or the leo and the chariot stands for cancer so you could also be meeting up with a cancer okay scorpio um that is what the chariot stands for okay now you've got the nine of ones you might have been through the wars you might have had difficult times but there is an end coming okay and you might be highly sensitive at full moon or new moon where there is an ending there is a new beginning the new beginning could be in full at new moon or full moon and or again uh, you uh, you know don't give up now you're nearly there okay somebody might have been very very sly or didn't want a confrontation because the fox it's depicted with a fox here it could be a sly person an untrustworthy person a person that doesn't tell the truth and just walks off because they don't want confrontation or they do sneaky things remember a fox um, sheds his fur but not his tricks okay the next card is uh, growth growth so something might be coming to blossoming like I said it is an ending a new beginning and growth something has been growing so there is definitely a new beginning coming Ooh, transformation as well then we have the uh, action card uh, from Archangel Michael and it says withdraw no longer fun walk away well don't be sneaky about it just walk away from drama don't get into anybody else's drama don't worry about it okay Archangel Michael asks you to detach from the drama associated with particular situation the time has come to withdraw and walk away 
Let's see what the Angel Feather card is for you this week. And you've got Crimson. You've got the Crimson. Inner Creative Talents. So you are being creative. You might have green fingers. Okay. Now I'm just going to get my big book. <laughs> and so that you can know what angels are attached to this card. And the Crimson is like a red. And you've got two red cards. So that's really quite nice. The Innate Creative Talents. The angels are here to reinforce to you that you have natural creative talents and skills which need to be unleashed or further development. Perhaps that's what you've been contemplating about on how to be creative and what you want to create. The crimson angel feather is presented to you as a symbol of creative gifts. The angels ask that you start to have faith in your abilities. Explore further um, possibilities of education and guidance to expand your skills. The angels will assist you with making the right choices. Trust that the teacher will appear when the student is ready. The world is ready for you to start showcasing your gift. You're the champion. You've got victory. So allow your essence to flow into your creations so that others may be empowered by them. Time to present your magic to the world. Now, the crystals that you can use is garnet, ruby, sinside, iron quartz. And the angels are jovial, archangel jovial, creative power, archangel sandalphon, the archangel of music. So you might be creating power of fun because Archangel Jovial is also the angel of the chakra, the solar plex. Okay, the yellow chakra and you might be creating music or doing something with music. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nice one. Go for it Scorpio. You're awesome. Remember, you're the queen of cups <laughs> and you've got cancer here as well but don't exclude yourself. You might be you're in your element because you're the champion and you might be needing a fire sign action action passion passion Woo, creative as well so you might have that fire in your chart at the moment it's like king cross station here coming and going so sorry if you see snippets because i've been busy editing just to round off and uh uh, analyze the reading you have grown and you know that uh, you've taken time out to contemplate or to get a different perspective on how you have grown you've become the champion uh, you are the star so that was in the crystal ball the star the champion victory okay you um, you have you had a wall around you but uh, or you might still have a wall around you um, because you needed uh, to grow and now you realize that uh, through getting a different perspective you need to withdraw so n not to be in anybody's drama again okay so let that wall down open yourself up your ship of abundance is coming in you've got talent you're a champion don't let anybody put you down okay stay away from people that aren't honest now we also saw three and six that is nine four and five that is also nine afterwards after I've done the reading I realized that and I looked back and you've got your nine here so it could also mean that something is being split up in three and four so you've got uh, perhaps delays of four hours this four is significant here uh, why because uh, in the traditional tarot you see the legs in the shape of four okay so I do keep 
sort of like the basic meanings that I have for my own cards um, in the back of my mind but nine is could be significant four could be significant um, and okay go. well that's it um, and you had dominoes domino effect okay domino effect Well, you're definitely moving on. It's like a domino effect, if you can see what I mean. You're moving, you, you've improved, you've grown. That's the domino effect. Okay, that's great stuff. So, there are things coming in. Endings and new beginnings. Awesome. Beautiful. I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Take care. Stay well and be blessed and stay safe as well. Please share and like this video. Thank you. I hope to see you in the life and if not in the next video. Ciao ciao.